If you're looking to get some aggressive dry fly action in the fall, then this fly is for you. To tie it, we'll start off with some black thread, secure it to our hook shank, snap the excess free, and continue wrapping well into the bend of our hook. We'll then grab some tan elk hair, snip a small clump free, and clean out the under fibers before inserting into a hair stacker and tamping it down. This will help align our fibers so they're all evenly spaced. Wrapping our thread around it once before securing it to the back of our fly. This will help prevent the elk hair from spinning around our hook. With this complete, we'll use our thread to secure it tightly in place. And if your tail starts to sink down, you can do as I did, adding a single thread wrap behind it. Once happy, we'll continue to secure the elk hair forward before snipping the excess free. Cover up your tag ends and wrap your thread back towards the tail. We'll then grab some dubbing. Here I've selected to use some ice dubbing as well as a dry fly dubbing in order to add some buoyancy. Mix them together to create a dubbing blend. We'll then create a dubbing noodle and begin to wrap this forward in closed touching spirals trying to build up a transition as we move forward. We'll start off with dubbing about one third up our hook shank and grab some more elk hair. Once again using the hair stacker, measure your hair to reach just about to the tail and secure it to the top of the fly using the same technique as before. Once again, to ensure that it remains on the top of the fly. Secure tightly, taking some looser thread wraps over the top of it to help brush it back and before cranking down on the excess fibers to secure it tightly in place. Snip the excess free and cover up your tag ends. We'll then grab some crystal flash. Here I'm using gold, securing three strands to one side, folding it over and securing three more slightly in the opposite direction. With this complete, we'll create another dubbing noodle, wrapping it over the top of our elk's hair continue wrapping forward, maintaining an increase in the body transition. With this complete, we'll grab some more elk's hair, repeating the process just as we've done before, securing the elk hair to the top of the fly, snipping the excess free, securing your tag ends, and grabbing more crystal flash to secure over the top of it. Finishing with another dubbing noodle, and once again wrapping it forward to cover up these tag ends, and build up a body transition, stopping just short of the head of the fly. Here, we'll repeat this process once more, building up a prominent wing that'll be highly buoyant in the water. Also, if you'd like to win this fly, comment hashtag flies in the comments below. And for those of you who don't tie and would like to pick one up, and if you don't win, but would still like to support the channel while stocking up your fly box for the fall, you can visit my website that's linked in the description and the comments below. With our final wing put in place, we'll grab some saddle hackle. Here I'm using brown, set it to the side, create another dubbing noodle, and begin to wrap this forward in closed touching spirals, completing this cone shape at the head of our fly. With this complete, we'll grab our saddle hackle and begin to wrap it forward in open spirals until we reach our thread. Secure it in place, taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind the saddle hackle, trying to prevent from trapping any fibers facing forward, and snip the excess free. Grab a pheasant tail, strip a few fibers free, and secure them to the head of the fly. Secure the two fibers facing forward, and use your bobbin or your fingers to help separate them. Once happy, we'll use our thread to secure it tightly in place, snip the excess free, and use a whip finisher to build up a prominent but small head. Snip your thread free and brush out your dubbing slightly to give it a nice, buggy look. And this is the October Caddis, an extremely large dry fly that you'll see hatching in the fall. This is one I like to tie some droppers under, like an October Caddis nymph. And if you'd like to win it, comment hashtag flies in the comments below. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.